Samaritan striker Jonah Ayunga has been out injured now for just over nine months. Back in January, he ruptured his ACL. He is now ready to return to the professional action. So we've come down to the St. Mirren training complex to catch up with him. Take me back to that game in January. What is it do you remember from your injury? Um, didn't start that game, came on, was was feeling good. I think I played for like five, ten minutes and then then I've just gone to flick a ball, defenders come across, I've I've seen him and sort of half pulled out and it's not really like a malicious tackle or anything. His foot didn't hit me, it was more his hip as I planted and it just, that's all it took to just pop my knee out for that one second. It's probably one of the worst pains I've ever felt yeah. for about a minute straight and then Jerry felt my knee, it felt okay, he wasn't saying it was going to be an ACL straight away and I think I came off and the pain sort of wore off and I was thinking I might be alright to come back on and then did like a little half spot and was just like, nah, no way. And then uh, that evening it just ballooned up huge, just knew there was something something serious had happened because of the, obviously the pain and then the swelling. So got the scan and obviously found out. ACL injury for those yeah. that don't know. Tell us, a lot of people just say, you know, footballers, they've done their ACL. Mm -hmm. What does that actually mean in terms of the knee and how does that get fixed in surgery? So you got you got four, four main ligaments in the knee, but then you got two which actually hold the two bones on top of each other. So your thigh and then your shin bone. And it's just one of those completely ruptured. So you obviously you lose that control of your, of the lower half of your leg. Nine months now in mm. physio recovery. How tough has that been for you? It's been hard. I'd say probably the first four weeks and then the last period I've been in now has been the hardest. In the middle, you're sort of in the gym and you're, you're ticking off each milestone. So I didn't find that too hard. I was like, you're making progress. And then actually getting up to speed football wise, I think has been hard as well with, with everyone like onto your case, you know, to make sure you get back to the standard. So. You know, the support from club from for a player has got to be the most important part. Have you got one person in particular that's just been your rock throughout this whole moment? Um, well, I've had a few. I've obviously got my missus at home who's looked after me from the day it happened all the way through until now. And I've got Jerry the physio who's rehabbed countless ACLs so I can just trust everything he's given me to do and do it all. And then obviously I've got a gaffer who's given me a new contract before I was back fit. So... I've had everyone, everyone looking after me, so it's been all right in that you sense. You mentioned that new contract halfway mm -hmm. through your injury. That's got to be a huge boost yeah. in your confidence. Yeah, no, I wasn't expecting it at all. It was pre-season when he pulled me in and was like, everyone's happy that you get another, another year. So that was a relief because coming back from an injury like this, you don't know what kind of season you're going to have if you're going to pick up little niggly injuries along the way. And you don't want to come to the end of that season and have, have no contract. So that was a big, a big deal. See, before you come back to on-the-pitch training, talk us through a day of what recovering from an ACL injury might look like. Jerry's got me a A4 sheet of exercises to do every day. You just work your way through those, which will take an hour and a half, two hours to get through it all. But so it's all good work. And as I said, he's done it again and again. So you know what you're doing is the right thing. And now back in full training. Must be great to be back out with the lads in training. Yeah, no, I've been back training fully, I'd say, for around a month now, maybe a bit longer, but just building up to this stage of where I'm fully comfortable and can train to my maximum every day. All right, perfect. We'll let you catch up with the boys and we'll talk to you after. Thanks, Simon. Jonah, back in full training, 90 minutes under your belt in a, in a behind-the-closed-doors fixture last week. You must be feeling that you're just that so close now. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm feeling ready ready to get a few minutes. Um, played 45, 60, 90. Felt good in all of them, so ready for the next step. The only, the only step to take now. I've got to ask you, how, how is the legs? How are they feeling? Is the fitness quite there yet? Um, nah, not quite. But there's nothing, there's nothing you can really do to replicate playing a first team game like we played the friendlies run all that we can so the only thing to do is just get it in a competitive game now 
obviously now heading back into the fixture. Hopefully you'll be involved in the Livingston game this weekend. Is there any any nerves that a repeat injury could happen again? Maybe. I think it's a bit of a freak tackle. Like I always thought, I must have missed out on having that done about five times a day in training. So I just got to forget about it really and focus, which I know I will because there'll be so much other stuff I'm thinking about. I won't have time to think about what ifs. Well, before the injury, you were you were scoring goals left, right and centre. A goal in the victory against Celtic, a go- yeah. goal against Rangers. Is that the hope that you get back into the team and start scoring some goals? Yeah, yeah. they're the ones you want to score, of course. But obviously, the boys are flying now. So any goals I can get to help us get any wins is, is a massive thing. What's that like sitting on the sidelines, watching your team out there? Flying, you know, top six for the uh, first time in their career, in their history yeah. last season. And this year, up, flying again in the league. Yeah. No, last year was obviously different because I knew I played a part. This year, I haven't impacted it at all. So I've just got to come in and make sure I keep keep the standards as high as they have been. Keep fit and get back in and, you know, regain your place in the starting eleven. There yeah. seems to be a lot of injuries, though, this season in not oh. only the Premiership, but in, in world football. Is there something that you would like to see change maybe in football to protect the players more? Yeah, I think uh, I think the muscular ones and the ones you get from overexertion, obviously, they can be addressed. Ones like mine, where it's more of a contact, not really much you can do about that. But obviously, fixtures, it's not as bad up in Scotland. You usually go weekend to weekend. But when I was playing down south, it's... Saturday, Tuesday, you can be Saturday, Tuesday for like two months straight. So that's obviously tough and not high demand on, the, on your body. The Samaritan fans will obviously be desperate to know when will they see Jonah Younger pulling on that black and white shirt and hopefully scoring some goals for them. Yeah, no, back this weekend, I don't know how long for, but that'll be my first taste. And then obviously we've got loads of games coming in the next couple of months. So build up to being back involved properly. Jonah, thank you so much for talking to us and I hope to be reporting that you've put a few goals yes. in the back of the net very soon. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. Jonah's a very laid-back boy. Um, there's not a lot that gets Jonah up or down. I'm sure maybe there's a different side to him at home, but um, he's, he's a great boy. He's a, he's a boy I've worked with. He's the second club I've worked with. And he's, he's pushed himself and I think a credit must be to Jerry Doherty and Gary McCall, our strength and conditioning, who has pushed him to the limit um, and got him into you know, a, a condition that he's ready to go. And, you know, uh, as I say, we've worked hard over the last six weeks, but that's more been Jerry and Gary that have done that with Jonah, obviously, pushing himself. And, you know, it's credit all three of them. He's he's ready to play at this stage. I arrived here at the Smyser Stadium for this afternoon's Scottish Premiership fixture between St Mirren and Livingston. It is a freezing cold day here in Paisley, but do not worry, this game will be on. The pitch is fine and we'll be kicking off at 3 p.m. this afternoon. St Mirren striker Jonah Ayunga, who has been out injured since January of this year with an ACL injury, is back in the matchday squad. He's in the building and will look to make an appearance this afternoon. I thought he was excellent for 60 minutes. Look really, As you say, look really sharp for somebody that's been out a year. Credit to the physio Jerry Doherty and, and, and Gary McCall have they've been outstanding in getting them to this level again and been able to go in and do that for 60 minutes. He didn't look like a boy that had been out for a year. So um, now the hard bit starts because um, you play on adrenaline the first time um, and he'll get sharper and he'll, he'll, you know, he'll become more game ready as he goes. And we have to manage that. Can't play every single game. We've got eight games. So it'll be a force from the bench or a force from, from starting the game. No, no, right now I'm feeling fine, but it's never, it's never now that you feel it. It's the next day, so we'll see. Fans have been with me the whole way, like whenever I see them I've been coming to games and they give me their support there, so it's nice, I've felt, felt the love. 